Moving on, 64 Somalis and seven Kenyans arrived at the JKIA today after being deported from the United States. The 71 were accompanied by U.S. security officials. 7.30 a.m. Kenyan time at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Kenyans Charles Kehanya, Bota Patrick Gidua Paul, Mose Eliud Nyachai, Jacqueline Bosibori, Ogari Vincent and Sid Silla were among 71 individuals, including 64 Somali nationals, who have been deported from the United States with a record of criminal charges. The Kenyans were required to first record statements with the Criminal Investigation Department. They came from uh, Alexandria. Uh, we received our seven Kenyans and uh, the 64 Somaris, some were caught driving while drunk, uh, that is driving under the influence of alcohol. Uh, some were arrested uh, for the offense of assault. They declined to speak to the media. The Somali deportees, on the other hand, were escorted to their country via Juba Airlines. The way they have come, maybe they would have expected to come back having their things, having carried the, whatever they invested, but as you, as they come, they don't come with the, all the items they, maybe they invested there. They come with a few clothings, yeah. So they get annoyed, they don't like being questioned. In January this year, 95 Somalis and two Kenyans were deported from U.S. in unclear circumstances. Barely two months later, U.S. President Donald Trump issued a visa ban to six Middle East and African countries, among them Somalia, many seeing it as an enforcement of his policy during campaigns that he will evict all illegal immigrants once in office. In Kenya, there is no charge. In that country, they were charged. But in Kenya, they have not committed any crime in our country. It is estimated that there are nearly 11 million illegal immigrants in the United States. A majority of prisoners are said to be immigrants from nations across the world. Cecilia Kesho, KT News.